Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot reading June, six, June 10th to June 16th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go straight away uh, to the spread. Alright, so the first card which uh, stands for the topic of the week for, for Libra, that is to be uh, the world card. Following by the second one which stands for the challenges that Libra needs to uh, overcome for throughout the week, that is to be the seven of wands. <clears throat> Afterwards we have the positive aspect for Libra, that is to be the uh, ace of swords. And the final card which stands for the guidance that Libra... Um, should follow or rather like the, the tarot has for Libra for throughout the week that is to be the page of wands. Okay so once again uh, the topic is going to be the world followed by uh, the um, challenges that Libra needs to overcome that is to be the seven of wands. Afterwards we have uh, the uh, positive aspect here that will be the ace of swords and the last one for you Libras that is to be the page of wands which stands for the guidance. Okay, so um, Libra this week is going to be very important because the week itself is going to be your final push, really, uh, where um, you are to reach a, um, how can I describe, a, a peak of experience, you know, um, a final push for accomplishing a long life desire or simply an, an important thing that you so much want, which, you know, is going to define that peak of experience. Afterwards, an important uh, life cycle ends and afterwards, you know, a new beginning starts. So we're talking about the final line here, the, f the line before the finish where you're finding yourself at, either regarding into career or either regarding into relationship. And right now you need to mobilize yourself with everything you got, all right, and do these final arrangements or final actions required from you so you can finally, you know, reach the, uh, the crest of your goal. And that is very well described here with the world card, which says exactly that, you know, that one completes something, okay? This is the ending of a, a long-term toils or a long-term chase, you know, or a, a long-term uh, planning, you name it. The thing with the world card is that everything ends, uh, what I mean in regards to this endeavor. So uh, it does depend, however, what stage this endeavor is. Because the world, it could speak for that, let's say you are jobless, okay, and you finally found your job. So that is the end of your endeavor, searching for a job. You have been in an interview and now this week you are called for the last interview where you have to put the final efforts in, all right, the final push before you reach your peak of experience being hired, Okay, afterwards, a life cycle ends, 
being without a job and a, a new life cycle emerges, new beginning, being with a job. That could be said about being single, it could be said about everything in one's life. The thing here, guys, is that you are gonna have something you really wanted, okay? Apart from the death card, which is very random in the new beginning, here we're talking about something that you actually strayed towards, something that you worked for, something that you toiled about. Uh, one last thing I want to say about the world card, it's very important here and it, it has something to do with the symbolism of the card. Now you see the woman naked, okay, and a veil is falling off her body. The veil is a symbol of secrets and symbol of mystery and as the woman is naked, it faces the world naked, meaning that the new beginning that it is yet to emerge for you should be faced with complete openness. You shouldn't carry anything from the past, no secrets, you know, no, um, how can I place it, no biased expectations and so on and so forth, you just face it naked. Uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the moon card and uh, the formation, it is a passive friends that we have. So as a passive friends, the moon, uh, the moon card says us only one thing to the world, that you are exactly where you need to be or you are exactly uh, what, you are at the point where it is determined for you from your birthright to be all right, or how can I place it? That is the thing that you are supposed to do here, or it is where you are supposed to be. I don't know how to describe it really, but these couple of cards <clears throat> are saying that if the, uh, if the lifeline, all right, of one's existence, it's, dappled with points you know you your birth is the point a then you have a point b somewhere in the future how you're gonna get to these points it's up to you but ultimately you always end up in a point b which is exactly something okay that it is determined by by fate by your birthright while you are in the point of your birthright no matter what you did back in the days would have deprived you from being at that place and now you have reached it into this week or you are about to reach it into this week, June 10th to June 16th, uh, 2019. So uh, the challenge itself, that is to be uh, the seven of wands. So seven of wands is about resistance and it is about not give, giving up to the temptation and to the, um, to the inner temptation or to the exterior, exterior testing that others may uh, try to oppress upon you and also as a challenge it is about knowing when to act and how exactly one should act uh, Looking at the first couple of cards. I would say that this is rather a, a trifle uh, Okay, it's not something major. It's not something big as the first couple of cards completely Completely overshadow it. You, it basically even if you do something wrong here Even if you scope the wrong moment of action the very most that is going to do is just postpone a little, you know, your imminent success here that the first couple of cards are giving to you because this is your right, right? To, to be with this person, for example, to be at that job, to reallocate somewhere. It does depend what you really want, but it was your right and you're going to get it one way or another. It's just you can speed up the things a little bit if you know exactly at what moment to act and at what end. Um, what kind of an action you should exert in it. The accompanied card here, that is the Four of Swords formation. It is a active friends. And the Four of Swords says us, uh, said to, is saying to us, uh, one more thing here is that you should not be, how can I place it? You should not have that uh, foolishous feeling of safety or foolishous feeling of that uh, things are rather already sorted and you can now take a time to catch up your breath. This, the whole week of June 10th to June 16th should be entirely under your control. You need to monitor, uh, monitor, monitorize, excuse me, not monetize, but monitorize and supervise everything that is going on with this, uh, with this endeavor of yours. Uh, <clears throat> like I said, you know, your marriage or your career, it does depend uh, where this uh, reading manifests itself for you but uh, it should be about a big thing, okay? It could regards to your engagement, or like I said, uh, as you're finding a new job, but let me give you an example of it in case it's about a new job, you know, and 
you are to be higher you need to keep on um, keep on a maintenance upon this uh, upon this process like for example if the company calls you tells you that they're gonna call in a couple of days and this call never comes around then it is best you know if you call them back and ask you know you you said that you're gonna call me in a couple of days what's going on and this kind of stuff it's simply you need to keep up with uh, with the endeavor so uh the next card that we do have it is a about your uh positive aspect of the week and that is to be the ace of swords so that is also a rather a trifle it's pretty much this week it's the deal sealed and the other cards that we do have here are more like a wishful thinking or rather like a, um, a guidance than anything else but with the ace of swords <clears throat> as a positive aspect it does point that um well it does point to a couple of things first it does point that you are to have a that pretty keen um diagnosis if i may express it that way upon what is to come from this and therefore prepare yourself accordingly for it uh, and the other thing that the ace of swords here points us is that you are not going to be that afraid to do something for your uh, future unfoldment and also that you are to face uh, this unfoldment of the future with rather clamorous uh, clamorous belief knowing that from now on this all all this is going to be for a greater good because this is what the accurate diagnosis involves additionally to that the ace of swords it kind of points to very agile mind meaning that you can find rather resolutions to a lot of your issues and especially if these issues are um how can i place it a substantial part of accomplishing your goal here uh the week itself is going to be very positive for you to think about a resolution over them and finding it that is and uh, lastly with uh, with the ace of swords it seems that you will be able to cut off a dead meat meaning that um you are to well how can i express it uh leave unsubstantial things uh and uh enterprises in the past the accompanied card here this week is going to be the three of uh, one uh, three of cups excuse me so uh the formation that we do have it is in an active um neutrals that we have and uh with the, an with an active neutrals uh these couple of cards are pointing that no one is gonna mess up with your uh with your things everybody's gonna mind their own business meaning that there won't be a person a single person who is to obstruct you along a, 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 along your finalization or along your goal so in other words you have reached a substantial substantial point of a big independency okay now that i think of because i know such a liberal these cards could uh, uh revolve you uh, start living on your own you know finding that uh, place where you want to be uh, that you have no roommates you have no one to oblige to and so on and so forth and uh, finally you are reaching that stage where you have to seal that uh that deal the final card that we do have for you, Libra, this is going to be the um, Page of Wands. So that is to be the guidance here. And the Page of Wands asks you to be open for everything new. That is due to the fact that you are reaching a, a, a competition of in a very important cycle, a life cycle. But you need to also start thinking about what happens next, all right? What is going to be your next big goal in your life? Now, it is not necessarily um, substantial that you define that big goal for yourself throughout this week. Uh, June 10th to June 16th as a matter of fact the page of wants asks you to be open for everything new meaning that you should consider any kind of option moving on from there the accompanied card here that is to be the king of wands formation it is an active supporters that we have and actually these couple of cards now are telling you something different as well they're also telling you that now it's time that you need to start enjoying life more than ever uh, any 
more than ever before to uh, socialize with people, you know, to do things that makes you happy and etc. etc. Additionally to that, it does ask you to think of your goals and your ideas because those goals and ideas definitely can be transformed into very powerful actions and drive after you actually, you know, reach that peak of experience and a, a culmination of a, a long life goal of yours so uh yeah it seems a, a very um positive week for you guys libra uh it's a week where you finally have it all right or you finally that thing that you worked so hard for that you hoped for and that it's how can i describe it and that you dreamed for it's almost there all right it's just only a couple of things left to be done uh, which could be a bit stressful for you to do or a bit scared uh, or a bit frightening, excuse me. Um, and you may be tempted not to indulge with them at that point, but you should not give yourself up to the temptation, but just push as hard as you can because you're supposed to be there. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a part of your calling, if I may say it that way. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 10th to June 16th, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.